Okay, my name is Anthony Percy. I'm Technical Director for Sustainability here at Halcro and uh, I lead a group of um, 17 engineers who are all consulting engineers uh, working in the field of environmental sustainability, but sp specifically for buildings and developments, because uh, you know sustainability is a huge field. So we look at buildings and we try to minimise the environmental imp impact of buildings, uh, and reduce the CO2 emissions from buildings and help clients to um, build sustainable buildings. When I started university, uh, I enjoyed a lot. Um, I enjoyed uh, you know, the social side of meeting people and sort of being free. In my subject, I did find it you know, pretty hard work at first. And it, I must admit, in the first year, I even considered giving up because I found all that maths really hard going. But so I got through it. And then later on in my degree, um, we started looking in a lot more detail at, if you like, you know, the real applications of engineering in the real world. And you know, we looked at design and we looked at how you know, engineering would be applied in later life and in, in particular I got into, uh, at the time, got into biomedical engineering and so uh, I enjoyed that project and I, you know, got on very well with a tutor and that meant that when I finished my degree he asked me if I wanted to do a, uh, a research degree in that subject, a PhD. So I accepted but I have to admit that um, within perhaps six months of starting that I realised that wasn't for me. I, I realised that I wanted a, a much wider breadth of um, uh, you know, subjects and, and engagement in my in my career. So that's when I, you know, gave up that PhD and um, started my current career. I think the turning points in my life were probably you know, for my career. Certainly, getting my first job was really important because th they challenged us quite a lot. They gave us a lot of responsibility at an early age, and we worked very creatively um, with architects, sort of working, you know, in tandem with architects and in understanding how buildings are designed and how they're created. And so uh, I stayed there for 11 years, and that really formed the basis for my career. You know, and I would, don't think I'd be doing the job I did today if I hadn't had that first break, that first, if you like, lucky break in getting that job. Um, in my personal life, I think um, you know, the big turning point is probably getting married and having a family, because that really affects um, your outlook on life and, uh, and I suppose, your career as well. Having a family affects your work life, I think, because... Uh, I think in my case it makes you put it into perspective a bit more. You know, career's always been really important to me, and it still is, but I realise now that, you know, as this, there's a famous phrase, I don't think anyone on a deathbed says, I wish I'd spent more time at work. And um, it is really important to value your career and to f be fulfilled by it, but actually uh, I don't think, I don't want to be totally caught up in it and totally obsessed by it. And I, I do have a life outside of work, and I, I, you know, I enjoy my um, family life as well. So. Having a work-life balance becomes a hell of a lot more important, I think. My aspirations from now, you know, I'm, I'm 41 and, uh, you know, I've done a lot with my career and I think I've, um, you know, got quite a, a senior position now. And I suppose with environmental um, uh, benchmarks and, um, uh, you know, the, uh, going upwards and required to, to be more sustainable, then, then those are my big challenges in my career, you know, to build a zero carbon building or to you know, reduce um, the environmental impact of the next big college we build or whatever it is. So th those are the key things. And actually, awards become significant too. So, um, uh, you know, I building I worked on a few years ago, we won an award uh, for um, sustainability, as in 2005, and I'd like to get some more of those trophies, if you like, to you know, sort of, um, you know, recognition from the wider world that, that uh, we're doing something uh, above and beyond uh, the norm, if you like, and, and better than average.